Black Student Union, along with the Gender and Sexuality Club, Students Advocating for Feminism and Equality, and Speech Team would like to invite you to an open house from 3.15 to 5 p.m. on Thursday, May 19th in Mrs. Lester's Room 125. Refreshments and arts and crafts will be available. If you are interested in any of these clubs for next year, please stop by. The last day for College Express classes is Wednesday, May 11th. Starting Thursday, May 12th, students with no first period who have their own transportation may arrive at DHS at 10.45 a.m. in time for fourth period. Students who do have a first period class or who are reliant on bus transportation must come to school as normal and report to the old staff cafeteria for second and third periods. The old staff cafeteria is located to the right of the food serving lines when you are standing in line. Any student who was on prom court and did not pick up their yard sign, please grab it this week from Ms. Lever's office in room 317. If you have an opinion on pro-life versus pro-choice, racial discrimination, LGBTQ plus rights, Second Amendment rights, or student debt forgiveness, your voice cannot be heard unless you register to vote. Your voice matters. Because of this, Ms. Sally's AP government classes have decided to run a voter registration drive on Thursday, May 19th during all lunch periods. Please bring a photo ID and a piece of mail with your name and address on it. If you need help getting a piece of mail, please contact Ms. Sadler at room 323 or her email at sadlers.denver118.org. Your opinion on how to run this country is important. No matter what party you relate to the most, your vote is important. Good afternoon, DHS. I am Monica McCray, and I would like to provide you with some information about AP testing. AP testing will begin on Monday, May the 2nd, and will continue through Wednesday, May the 11th. I am kindly requesting that all students who have morning exams report to their testing room between 7.30 and 7.40 a.m. All afternoon exams, students should report to their testing rooms between 11.40 and 11.45. All afternoon exams may run past the regular school day. If you ride the bus, please arrange for someone to pick you up after school. The first week of exams are Monday, May 2nd, is the U.S. government and politics. Testing will be held in the Little Theater. On Tuesday, May 3rd, there are two exams, environmental sciences in the morning, and testing will be in the Little Theater. The second exam, is the psychology exam and it is scheduled in the afternoon. Testing will be held in the gym. Wednesday, May 4th is the AP English Lit and Comp and testing will be held in the Little Theater. On Thursday, May 5th, there are two exams. The first exam in the morning is Human Geography and testing will take place in the Little Theater. The afternoon exam on Thursday, May the 5th is the statistics exam, and that will be held in the Cannon Room. Friday, May the 6th will be the U.S. History exam. Students with the last names A through K will report to the Little Theater, and the last names of L through Z will report to the Study Hall. Week 2, there are three exams on Monday, May the 9th is the Calculus exam, and testing will be held in the Little Theater. On Tuesday, May the 10th is the English Language and Comp, exam and it will be held in the Little Theater. And our last exam is Wednesday, May the 11th, is the AP Bio exam, which will be held in the Little Theater. I would like to wish all students the best of luck. Thank you. The Abbott Seniors are hosting a basketball tournament open to all DHS students. The tournament will be held on Friday, May 20th in the gym and fieldhouse at 5 p.m. Students are welcome to play and anyone is welcome to come out and watch. To participate in the tournament, you can enroll as a team with five to seven players or as an individual. Teams will pay $25 while individuals pay $5. All the money raised will go to help our community with medical needs. If you are interested in participating, please use the QR code or talk to Ms. Heston in room 342B. NHS will be having a meeting on May 10th after school in room 136. We will be voting in next year's officers, so please try to attend. NHS applications for next year have been mailed home and you should receive an email from Ms. Jackson. Any questions can be emailed to Ms. Jackson or stop by room 136. <laughs>